Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, owner of Blues City Music in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. Today we're continuing with our Guitar Amplification 101 class that we do here at American Recording Studios. And we're going to talk about the Diamond Amplification Hammersmith. This amp that I've got over here on my right. Uh, it's a relatively new amp, been out for a couple of years. We've had a lot of guys that wanted a legacy amp, one of the custom shop pieces, but they wanted more of that Iron Maiden, Judas Priest type tone. Uh, this is your amp, okay? So we're going to briefly talk about it, and then we're going to get some good close-up shots on the front and back of the chassis, okay? 100-watt amp. This one is loaded with Wing C, JSC Russian plant, EL34s. That plant's been out of business since January of 2014. Now, you buy this amp, I'm going to let you have the Wing Cs. If it sits for a while, I'm going to put it, I'm going to pull them and put the Chinese tubes in there. But this, they're sounding really good, but there are no uh, resources anymore for the JSC Wing C tubes. Like I said, this one's loaded with them. Those are the Mac Daddy EL34s that are out there. Two channel lamp, 100 watts. It's got a global master known as the effects return on it. And it's got independent EQs, independent presence controls for each channel. Okay? So we're going to take an up close and look at this amp and talk about the Hammersmith. Okay, guys, here is the front chassis of the Diamond Amplification Hammersmith. Remember, this is a custom shop amp made entirely in Houston, Texas. It's not one of it's, uh, the amps in the Vanguard line, which are fantastic amps. These are custom shop pieces, and every bit of it was researched, designed, assembled, tested, packed, and shipped out of the custom shop in Houston, okay? This is a two-channel amp, guys. All the diamond amps are going to have the clean channel over on the right side when you're looking at the front chassis, and the overdrive or the crunch channel, however you want to refer to that, over uh, to the left, okay? Notice that there's only a channel 1 and a channel 2. This amp doesn't have 2A, 2B like the Nitrox or the Spec Op or the uh, Heretic um, Spitfire 2 or, or Phantom, okay? This amp was made for those guys that want that early English Judas Priest Slade Iron Maiden type tone. And you are going to get it with this amp. This amp really does that well. Each channel has six individual controls on it, and they're identical. It's got a gain for each channel, a volume, and a standard Marshall-style EQ, bass, middle, treble, and a presence control on both channels. You've also got a single channel selector down here, channel one and channel two. So you don't even have to put the foot switch on there that comes with the amp. You just can switch uh, channels right here on the face of the amp, okay? No worries with that. If you really want a lot of bite on either one of these channels, run the treble down, run the presence control up, and you're going to see if this amp really, really bites hard when it does that. Remember, these are EL34 amps. They're not KT77. They're not 6550s. They're not KT66s. They're Wing C EL34s from the Russian JSC plant that closed in 2014. I've had this amp since the tail end of 2013, and this has some of the last Wing Cs available. Guys, I'm going to sell it with this. As long as I have amps in stock with Wing Cs in them, I'm going to sell them like they are, okay? Uh, everybody's moving towards the Chinese tubes, which do very, very well. But for those that want a Russian tube, the Wing Cs are the best to get. Now, let's talk about this effects return way over here. This over here is going to be standard, guys. On, off, standby, and jewel light. Effects return. Think of that as a global master. If you have anything in the loop, send in return jacks are full if you've got a cables plugged into them, then it makes this effective like a global master. So when you turn this up or down, regardless of how you have these volumes set, they're going to go up or down correlating to how much you raise or lower this knob on the effects return. If you don't run anything in the loop, 
it comes with the amp comes with a uh, jumper, and that little jumper is nothing more than a small cable that you would use hooking up between a foot switch on the floor that you might have in your pedal board, whether it's a an overdrive to a chorus or a flanger. That's all it is, guys. Or if you're used to playing a four input Marshall or uh, Fender style amp, and you want to bridge the two channels, bright and dark. No, uh, or if you want to do the high and low input, whatever, uh, that's what you do. So it's real simple. We, we supply that little cable for you, and when we turn the amp around, you'll be able to see that. So bottom line is, for guys that want a simple two-channel amp that's got British tones, this is your amp, the Hammersmith from Diamond Amplification. I'm going to turn this amp around and let you take a look at the backside. Here's the rear of the Diamond Amplification Hammersmith. If you take up a look up here, you can see the four Wing C EL34s. You're also going to see it down here that the amps from Diamond have an option of either 100 volts, which is going to be Japan, 120 volts, which is U.S., which this amp is, 220 or 230, depending on uh, European models. So this one's going to be set up as 120 volts, 117 volt. 60 hertz and an external you can remove this IEC power cord you're going to have fuse for your mains you're going to have a, uh, a fuse over here one point amp okay and uh, these are going to be slow blow Jeff likes the slow blow okay two speaker outs you're going to have your ohm selector, 4, 8, or 16. And then you're going to have a depth control. So after you've set the EQ for your amp and you really want to dial this in, but you want a little bit more bottom end, a little more thump on the bottom, then you can come over here and turn this clockwise, and this will give you a really nice bottom end for your tone. Now, it's going to affect both channels. Here's the jumper, guys. Nothing to it. It's just a 90-degree, nothing fancy. Um, mono plug one for each side for the send and return and then just a simple cable you can make one out of a george l's cable you can use any other monster cable or lava cable whatever you have it doesn't matter uh, but they're mono and then over here is going to be for the foot switch now if you're familiar with some of the other diamond amplification amps that uses uh, 2a and 2b that's going to require a tip ring sleeve stereo style foot switch uh, uh, cord or uh, cable, whatever you want to call it. This is nothing fancy. It's just going from one to two. So all you're going to use is a mono plug, and that means it's going to have one black ring around the end of the cable instead of two. Okay, so it's just a simple mono plug, just like you have for your guitar cable. So any of those will fit in this switch back here. So this is going to be the Diamond Hammersmith rear chassis. Guys, this is the Hammersmith from Diamond Amplification in Houston, Texas. For all of you guys out there that are hardcore, KK Downing, Glenn Tipton, uh, Judas Priest, Iron Maiden players, this is definitely your amp. Uh, it's got those British tones all over it. Give us a call at Blues City Music, 901-485-8250. Catch us on the web at www.bluescitymusic.com. Catch us at Facebook or Twitter, Blues City Music. Fastest way to catch me is a uh, text to 901-485-8250. I get that worldwide. If I'm in Singapore, Delhi, uh, anywhere in Europe, I'm going to get it, and I'll send you a text back, okay? And then we'll hook up via landline. Thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it.